Dear students, congratulations. You have successfully completed the course. If you have participated fully in all activities and assessments during every week of the eight weeks course, you are entitled to get a certificate for a participation as well as certificate for a successful completion if your score is more than the predefined threshold. With the successful completion of this course, you have skills to collect scientometric data and analyze scientometric data. In addition, you have also gained the skills to read and understand scientometric literature. Also, you will be able to carry out certain projects or research in scientometrics. However, scientometrics is the most complex and advanced form of data analysis. In scientometrics, we studied basically the application of quantitative techniques to LIS in general and science in particular. We study few topics. First of all, scope and definition of a scientometrics, including the terminological development. Then we concentrated on classical laws of bibliometrics or scientometrics. We also studied obsolescence and growth of literature, library use studies, scientometric indicators, citation analysis, and collaboration. In the last week, we studied the national mapping of science and application of scientometrics. Until 1970s, most of the studies were concentrated on three classical laws of bibliometrics. In recent times, however, the research was mainly centered around science indicators, that is the impact factors, H index, G index, etc. Collaborative research, national mapping of science, etc. Scientometric techniques are now being used in the identification of trend in a subject and also in the study of a scientific communication. Scientometrics have been accepted as a research area that gives us additional understanding of the form and the structure of scientific communication.